What's up, my beautiful babies? <laughs> How are we feeling today? Are you feeling as extra as I'm feeling? Because I'm feeling real extra and I'm living for it. Just live your extra life, girl. Get your live your extra life hoodie now. It'll be linked below. So you guys really seem to love my video on how to pick the best hair color for your skin tone. That video will be linked below, of course. And I decided to come on here today and why not tell you what the best haircut is for your face shape. So if you want to know how to pick the best haircut for your face shape, and I hope you do, it's very important, then stay tuned and let's get it started. All right, let's jump right into this. Let's talk about all the different face shapes you can possibly have. So there are six different face shapes. Now you can have one of these six, or you can sort of have a mix of a couple of the six of these. Um, some people, you know, don't really fit into the guidelines of these face shapes, but you can always mix and match them to think of like what your face shape is exactly. The diamond face shape. So that means from the top of your forehead to the corner of your eyes, the outer corner of your eyes to your chin is sort of in a diamond. So that sounds kind of weird, <laughs> but uh, usually the, the chin is kind of more pronounced and comes out more. The jawline is more angular, uh, which is making kind of like a diamond shape. And then the forehead's kind of smaller and coming back into a point up here. Also, your cheekbones, if you have a diamond face shape, might be kind of like more high and more pointed upwards, giving you more of like that angular look. The oval face shape. Usually your forehead is slightly wider than your chin and the length of your face is about one and a half times the width of your face. Which of course, you guys know what an oval looks like. That one's simple. I mean, come on, you know. An oval face shape is literally just like an oval. You know that, you know what that shape is. You got that one, okay. Then you have the round face shape, which is also super simple. It's just more round than the oval face shape, so kind of have bigger cheeks and there's not any angles. Then we have the square face shape, which of course is more of a wide chin and wide forehead, which is gonna make it very, very, very angular. Uh, people with a square face usually have a very predominant chin, uh, wider forehead, and the forehead and jawline are usually the same width. Now, this next one's kind of confusing. We then have the oblong face shape. Sort of like the oval face shape, but not as wide. So take the oval face and kind of squish it together and like take those sides off of the oval. And that's where you have oblong. So it's rounded on the top and the bottom, but more squared off, but still a little bit rounded on the sides. Another way that oblong differs from oval is that the chin is more narrow than somebody with an oval face shape. So instead of going like completely around at the bottom, it's a little bit more sharp at the bottom than an oval face shape would have been. And lastly, we have the heart shape face, shape face, shape tape. <laughs> the heart shaped face, <laughs> such a cute one. So this means that your face is wider at the top with a larger forehead and higher cheekbones that kind of are pronounced, giving you that heart. And then your chin is very, very small and petite and kind of comes to a point at the bottom. So now that you guys know the six different face shapes, let's go over some celebrities who have these different face shapes. And that way it can be a little bit more simple for you guys to figure out what face shape is yours. So the diamond face, Megan Fox is definitely a diamond face gal. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can see that her cheekbones are very pronounced and she still has kind of a refined jawline. Um, it's definitely sh on the sharper side and comes to a point down here and then has a smaller forehead. So let's move on to oval. Jessica Alba definitely has more of an oval face. Her cheekbones are a little bit wide and then it kind of goes down and tapers into a very soft rounded chin and a very soft rounded hairline. So now on to round face shapes. Miranda Kerr definitely has a gorgeous round face. So this one's pretty simple. You get it, I'm sure. It's just round, circular, 
There's no angles to it. And now on to square face shapes. Olivia Wilde is a great example of this. She definitely has a square face. Uh, this one again is simple. It looks like a square. You guys know what a square looks like. The forehead and the jawline are about the same width and the sides of the face are the same height and it is very angular. There's a lot of sharp lines. And now we have Sarah Jessica Parker who has, to me, has an oblong face. So it's definitely on the longer side going this way, um, and it's more narrow going this way. Um, but, you know, everything is kind of rounded, but she definitely does have more of an angular chin, um, which makes it a little bit different from having an oval face. So, and now Reese Witherspoon is a great example of a heart-shaped face. You can tell it's a bit wider up here on her face and then comes down to a point at her chin, forming a beautiful heart-shaped face. So now let's talk about what haircut is gonna look the most fabuloso on you and your face shape, girl, okay? You got me. So basically, as a hairdresser, our goal is to give you more of an oval face because that apparently is the most like attractive face shape for a female. So when cutting hair, our aim is to make your face look more oval. So all the things I'm about to explain is the way you can make your face look more oval if it's not already oval. The oval face shape, you can pretty much get away with any haircut. Usually something more on the extreme side will be better for you. Otherwise, e like either really short um, or really long. Otherwise, it's going to kind of take off from the symmetry of your face. And you can pretty much wear any hairstyle if you have an oval face. Congratulations, <laughs> you are the winner. Round faces, my round face sisters out there. <laughs> Definitely stay away from bobs or haircuts that are all one length. Having layers and some shorter pieces in your hair is gonna give your face more structure, which is gonna look fabulous on you and kind of distract, not that like a round face is bad, but it's gonna kind of give you more structure if you have layers. Um, it's gonna kind of distract from the super, super roundness of your face. So you're gonna wanna add more length in your face to make it look less round. Uh, so bringing layers down here is gonna bring the attention down to your neck, which is gonna eventually make it look like you have a more oval face shape. So for square faces, to make your face look more oval, you can always do, you know, a bang um, where it's shorter in the middle and then kind of rounds out on the sides. Of course, that's gonna make your face look way more oval and um, pleasing to the eye. And then it's also a good idea to keep your hair long so that it softens the corners of your jaw. So for oblong face shapes, we kind of want more of the volume to be in the center half of the head. So adding layers to your haircut that is gonna give you more volume over here is gonna be great and kind of take away from that long, um, narrow face that you have. Um, and it's gonna bring more volume to the sides and bring out your cheekbones. And then I would also recommend keeping the length um, below the chin at least, um, because if you have the hair at your chin, it's gonna bring more attention to the overall shape of your face and it's gonna kinda make your face look longer actually if you have your hair at your chin because it's gonna bring all the attention right there. So definitely stick to haircuts that are a little bit below the chin or a little bit longer than that. They will look great. So with heart-shaped faces, our goal is to take off from the width of the forehead and add it to the jawline to balance it out to make it look more oval. So I would definitely recommend having your hair length at your chin or a little bit below it to bring more attention to your jaw, which is gonna eventually make it look wider to the eye. You can also kind of play around with a fringe, like a side swept fringe. That way it kind of distracts from the overall wideness of your forehead. That way you can decrease the size up here and add a little bit of length to your chin down here. So to me, the diamond face shape is so pretty on women. I mean, I love, I love angles on women. A lot of people love oval face shapes and that's kind of like our goal um, with haircuts, like I said before, is to make it more oval. Don't think I'm trying to say like, you don't look good if you have a certain face shape, that is not true. But to, if you wanted to make your face look more oval, which is sort of the goal here, um, you can always do like a bob with some nice 
wispy pieces going into your face. It's gonna distract from like the, the harsh, sharp lines of your jaw. All right, so we just covered so much. Let's talk about it real quick and sum everything up. I'm not trying to say that if you don't have an oval face that you are not beautiful and gorgeous because that is not true. You're all beautiful and gorgeous. But societal standards say that, you know, an oval face shape is the most desirable and the most feminine. So whenever you don't have an oval face shape, um, you're always trying to kind of make it look more oval. But girl, if you got these angles on your face, honey, you are still beautiful, you are still gorgeous. I could keep going on and on about this for so long, but those are just a few basic, simple guidelines to follow when picking the best haircut that is gonna look good for your face shape. So I hope that helped all of you guys out, and if you have more questions, leave them below and I'll try and get back to as many of you guys as possible. And again, if you guys want to check out how to pick the right hair color for your skin tone, that'll be linked below also. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, I would really appreciate it, and give this video a like if you want me to make more videos like this. And today's Instagram shout out goes to this chick, this is her Insta handle, I don't know what her name is, she didn't tell me. <clears throat> this is what she looks like. She says, okay Brad, so I've always had super short hair, so I'm trying to grow it out, but I've got the short hair fever again. <laughs> Should I really let my hair grow long or chop it off? Love you, I love you too, girl. Okay, first of all, you so cute. You are so cute. <laughs> Keep your hair short, do not grow it out. You look so good with short hair. Like, I'm insta-stalking you right now, and, um, yeah, I, I, you, the short hair, it just works so good for your face shape, and you can rock it. I would, oh my god, you're blonde. Girl, you're blonde. Girl. Girl, I think you should go even shorter than you already have your hair. Like, you have it, what, like, here? I think you should go, like, chin length for 100%. Sure. Also, you guys, if you haven't heard, I do have merchandise out and it is fierce and fresh and extra. I also have a contest going on that if you buy a hoodie, um, you can get your hair done with me for free. Fly to New York, get you a hotel, everything, and it's gonna be amazing. So if you guys want the details for all of that, then check out the uh, video that I posted a few days ago. It'll be linked below for you. And with that all said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I will see you all next time. Peace!